All right, so I'm gonna do another quick video. This one's a little bit shorter than the other one. And just a couple moves uh, for band work. So again, if you're somewhere where you don't have access to a gym or you don't have time or you don't have um, space for equipment, I've also got these loop bands. They are like a little thicker, like rubber. And actually it came in that set with the, the ones that I've been looping around my, my legs. Um, it's actually come as a set. You can get them separately and they come in different varying sizes as well. These are actually a lot harder. So I thought the thinner ones were gonna be easier. These are actually pretty hard right now to do some of this stuff. And then I've got the little door hanger that comes with it. It just has a little ball. You put it over the side of your door Make sure it's locked, otherwise it's going to smack you in the face when it, <laughs> the door opens. But uh, close the door, and then you loop it, and then you can just feed this through, and you hold each end of the loop. So, Or you can get the ones that have the handles on them. I have both. But just a couple of things to do for upper body. So these one, this one gets the upper body really well. So if you have like that package set, I think it's like maybe $30, $35 for the, the ones that go around your legs, the loops, and these heavier ones. So... Um, if you think you'll be using them a lot, which I do, I use these things all the time, it'd be a good investment. But first, you know, we'll do a couple back, upper back, and some um, chest work. So this one, I mean, you just, you just loop it. And this is similar to like if you have TRX, you could do some similar type things. It's just you're pulling away instead of pulling your body towards you. You just hold the loop, squeeze back behind, and reach up. So back far enough that you can feel the tension. There's nothing loose, it's nice and tight. Pull and then down and up. You can also like add a squat to it and row, squat, row. Pulling it back towards your chest, standing nice and tall. Um, and then you can also, also do our straight push down. So keeping those arms straight, you get some lat work in there as well as shoulders. So just pushing it straight down and back up, back and forth. You can also pull apart. So instead of pulling it towards you, having your fingers down, you can put your fingers facing each other and just like you're pulling it apart, keeping your arms straight. You're getting your rear, rear delts in there, upper back, shoulders. Um, so just pulling it apart right here. You can also, yeah. If you want, you can also put your fingers up. So we've done down, pulling it towards you, fingers, pulling it away. You can put your fingers up to the ceiling and row it down this way. You get some biceps in with it like that. So fingers up and then pulling it away back and forth. You can also do some side work. You can just, if you hold on to this or if you hold on to both, it's a little harder holding on to both, pushing down both, but just hold on and then this one straight down to your side, keeping it nice and straight back and forth. And then other side. So I love working shoulder work. So I do a lot of shoulder stuff. So you can do that. And then now to get the chest, to get this part up in here, I like when you do push-ups. And this one, you can keep it, you know, legs apart, or you can stagger it. So like a, like a, uh, oh, my brain's not working, like a lunge. But just arms up, and then you can fly in. So bring it up and then fly, so fingers facing each other, up and back. You can also push down, so up, and then push it away from you towards the floor. So fingers facing down, pushing it here. And then this one's a good one for some tricep work too. So you can hold it up, up here, and then just straighten and bend your elbows. So you hold it, oh, step back a little bit, so elbows, are bent, the band is behind you, and then you're just trying to push it in front of you. So bend, straighten, trying to keep your arms and elbows toward next to your ears. Bend, straighten, back and forth. Yeah. And then I did with like the heavier one. It kind of works. I mean, it's it's still something. I like I just couldn't do some of the moves with this heavier one, but I took the heavier one and did almost like a, like a peck fly. So keeping everything hands up, facing away from you, elbows bent, and then you just in and out. Kind of like the peck fly machine um, at the gyms. You just have to push away so you have tension in the band the whole time, and then bringing it in and out here. And you'll get your shoulders, 
and you get your chest. So those are just a couple more things. Like I said, band work that work really well if you don't have a lot of room or a lot of space, because um, this can be put away in a bag or a closet or something like that out of the way. So I hope this one gives you a couple more ideas. If you, um, if you have both sets of bands, you can do both videos all at once and get a really good uh, full body workout. So enjoy.